Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Christian Kuhlman and I'm a Swedish watercolor artist. Uh, and I also want to welcome you to my Bush studio. This is where I'm gonna spend a lot of time during the summer and I'm gonna record some of my videos from here as well. In my previous video, I took you guys out into the forest to do a plain air uh, painting. And I've been painting watercolors for many years now, but painting outdoors, that's not something that I'm really comfortable with, which you probably realized in my last video. That wasn't a success, that's for sure. There's a lot of you that actually gave me some advice and pointers what to think about when I do plein air painting. Because I, I uh, realize now that there's a lot of you that have a lot more experience painting outdoors than I do. And I actually have an idea of my own that I want to try out in this video. Uh, because uh, I think uh, my idea is that I want to have a table and I want to have a table just like this one, but I want to make sure that I can bring it with me. And uh, so in my, this video, I'm actually planning on making my own field table. I'm not sure if it's a good idea or if it's a bad idea, but uh, I want to try it out. And uh, if the table is usable, I will use it in my next uh, video when I do a plein air video. So. Uh, I'm going to start by sketching out uh, a general idea what the table is going to look like and uh, then I'm going to try to build it. So uh, we'll see. Uh, in Sweden we say that if you're bad at doing uh, um, handiwork, you have your thumb in the middle of your hand and I do have my thumb in the middle of my hand. So if, there's, uh, if there are any handy men or handy women watching this video, please be nice to me because uh, this is not my uh, top game either, honestly. Okay, so I'm going for a decent sized table. Uh, what I need is a plywood board to start. Something like this. And uh, a plywood board is not going to be stable enough. So I will have to put some uh, pieces of wood on the side here for support. Just like that. Um, and I have three legs from a, an old easel that I never used, but it, it was broke. So those three legs I'm gonna try to use for my field table here. Uh, and I'm gonna have one leg, something like that. And another leg like that. And these, these legs are pretty practical, not that sturdy, but practical, because you can fold them together uh, and that's a good way for uh, using it for transportation. Uh, somewhere here, I'd like to have a handle as well, uh, so I, it's easy to carry it around. So I'm gonna have some an easy handle here on that side. And in the middle of the other side, I have another foldable leg that I can use like this. So it's going to be like a tripod table. Looking at this picture, the table doesn't look too sturdy. So that's probably my biggest concern. But you know what? There's only one way to find out. So let's get started and see what happens. And uh, all of you carpenters watching this video, be nice to me. I'm a, I'm a rookie at this too. If you're interested in my narrated versions of my speed painting videos here on YouTube, or maybe my live streams, or even get the opportunity to get feedback on your work, or maybe you just want to support me here on YouTube, then I would suggest that you join my Patreon. I have a link down here below, and I would uh, recommend you to check it out. Maybe it's something for you. Thank you guys.
Okay guys, the fuel table is done. Um, it was uh, it was a fun project, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna do the trick uh, when I'm trying it in my next video. Uh, the sturdiness might be an issue, who knows. But it's, it's pretty light, so it, it's easy to carry around. And uh, yeah, make sure you don't miss my next video and you'll see how I do. Okay guys, bye bye.